All right, y'all. So we have our first YouTube video. Congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> I pulled this out of my... I don't know, graveyard <laughs> collection in my phone of where all the videos go to die. So this one was from, I think, 2019. Um, it was a Georgia Aquarian theme party. Um, and the young, young boy, young guy, turned like 10. And his favorite shark was this Thrasher shark. And so since it was a fairly small party, we decided to just do like the thrasher head, but it had to have this tail shown. So we had this idea of having the cake coming out of the water with this like tail out, you know. So hopefully you'll be able to get it in a minute. Um, but I printed out some stencils and I'm using those stencils to um, use as a reference so that I can have the head and eyes and shape to scale. So that's kind of my jam. Um, so uh, I'm not actually using any structure here. Um, it's just four layers of cake stacked on top of each other. And I'm just praying that it does not topple over because this is not typically how I stack cakes. I'm usually really good with making these complicated structures, um, making it too complicated, actually. So puzzle piece of puzzle pieces, um, trying to get the height together. Um, yeah, they just interrupted my filming, but we're going to keep going because I don't want to do this again. Um, so yeah, I'm just keep putting the, the reference picture up against the cake so I can make sure that the eye placement and, um, everything is where it should go. The height is together each side, um, whether you're looking at the left, right, top, bottom, um, it's a scale. And so I did the smart thing <laughs> and decided to put in some dowels so the thing doesn't topple over. Because even though it's up now at room temperature, it might get too soft and topple over. So make sure you uh, <laughs> you just build your cakes right, right? So you don't have angry customers coming back to the cake bell. Um, so yeah, carving, 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 kind of obsessing at this moment. I think it would it was done like 20 minutes ago. Obviously, this is um, sped up, but I kind of just OD on this part. Um, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna watch me do it anyway. So kind of last look. I'm hoping. Okay, yes. So I have moved on. <laughs> moved on. I am putting some gray white chocolate ganache on the cake now. Um, typically this could have been buttercream, but because of that angle, I needed something a little stiffer that's going to dry hard and kind of keep it. Hey girl, hey girl, that's Celine. Y'all might have noticed her on, um, Food Network's Cake Alike. She was my partner. Um, so she's keeping me company this day. I think she was actually doing a photo shoot. So if you go follow her, uh, Zuckery Cakes or Lean Palk. You see her pretty photos that she took on this day. Um, so what I'm using, which you can't really tell, it's a clear piece of plastic called like acetate. Um, I believe, I think, I think it's called acetate. Don't quote me. Um, but I'm using that to kind of smooth out those rough ridges. Um, and then I'm going to use some more ganache. Um, oh, no, I didn't do that. Nope. I'm marking eyes. <laughs> so we don't have... <laughs> cross-eyed, a cross-eyed shark. <laughs> we want the eye placements to be correct. So kind of marking that in. So after I put the, um, the fondant slash modeling chocolate over it, that'll already have those placed in and kind of, uh, kind of caved into the cake, right? Uh, making the muscles on the back of the shark, cause sharks got muscle too. Sharks kind of swole. Uh, using some more ganache to make the mouth because um, my customer actually educated me on these thrasher sharks. They said that they're very sweet, kind sharks. So she wanted it, uh, just wanted make, blah, 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 she can't talk. Um, she wanted to make sure that it was um, like a sweet looking shark. So originally I'm thinking like big teeth, angry looking 
Um, and her son is very adamant about educating people that this shark in particular, or maybe all sharks, I don't know, are very sweet. They're not all these evil creatures. And so we wanted to make sure that the shark looked nice, like a pet shark, right? All right, so you can see here, I'm having... <laughs> I'm having trouble. <laughs> it's like mayday, mayday with this um, modeling chocolate. I don't honestly remember what was giving me such a rough time, but I rolled this joint out like four or five times, and it looked like it was cracking and kind of brittle and dry. So I probably just took a breather, <laughs> like walked around a little bit, um, regrouped myself to start over. And even when I came back, you can see... It's just, is it going to work? No. Nah. <laughs> no, it did not work. Uh, needing again, needing again. I, this is probably a fondant in modeling chocolate mix. Because, yeah. Oh, yeah, that way I tried to go around. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> I tried a lot of different things. Uh, cake decorating, uh, if you know, is kind of about trial and error. Uh you think something's going to work and it doesn't, but you just have to kind of regroup and try it again. So we're going halvesies on this shark. <laughs> we did one panel. We, <laughs> I was there by myself. <laughs> I did one panel of um, this modeling chocolate fondant uh, mix and then rolled out a second panel because I think it was just too much weight pulling at the nose of the shark that kind of made the... Um, surface crack and whatever so because it had modeling chocolate in it you can blend the seams in so I was comfortable um, resorting to doing two pieces blend the seams so you can kind of see me here trying to blend it in um, I tried using water that didn't really work too well um, but kind of just rubbing my finger blending as much as I can here all right, looking back at my references, it's kind of off screen. My apologies, I couldn't tell where the camera was pointing. But uh, so there you see the torch. So I got the torch um, to melt the chocolate a little bit. And that kind of gave me the results I wanted. So here I am making gills. I think those are gills. <laughs> Don't come for me if those are not gills, but. Uh, making the details on the cake because it's such a small cake um, that you want to make sure that you get the details down. So, um, yeah, it just it looks as best as it can. I'm not even going to lie. It, it doesn't even matter if it's small or not. <laughs> it can be the biggest cake you've ever done. You still need to focus on details, right? We're putting the eyes on, trying to make it uh, come to life there. I don't know why it skipped. I guess my phone died, but we are now making, shoot, I don't even know what it did. What am I doing, y'all? Oh, okay. So that, <laughs> that, what is that thing called? <laughs> I don't know my shark anatomy. Um, yeah, so we're making the parts of the shark. <laughs> The fin, yes. Okay, it just came to me. We, we made the fin, right? Because it's right at the top of the water. Um, and obviously, this isn't actually... A shark can't bend in this tight uh, angle. But I wanted all the pieces of the shark to be shown. So this is the tail I was telling you about. It was really important for the tail be up out of the board. So you can tell what kind of shark it was. And so these thrasher sharks have these long pointy tails. I guess they like ricochet <laughs> on their uh, prey to kill the prey and eat. So that's why it's kind of sticking out there like a sword, sword, uh, sword. Um, what are we doing? Um, oh, yeah. So this is another trial and error situation. So I did some petal dust. Um and went that route to color the cake and I just didn't feel like it was dominant enough color I went in did the shadows that kind of helped it's looking good and many y'all probably be like oh you could stop there but um looking at the pictures it was just too light of a color for me 
And so then I decide to regroup and do wet paint. And then I <laughs> was like, oh, maybe not. This isn't the right color. So I added blue and I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> I just checked out this cake. Um, but, you know, you got to think quick. So I grabbed a, a sponge and uh, blend in the color a little bit. Um, so it's not... <laughs> Not like a cartoon shark. We weren't going for the cartoon shark look. And that ended up working uh, pretty well. Then we go in with some, um, I guess, black paint or darker gray paint to highlight the nose and <laughs> highlight, like, this is not makeup, but, um, yeah, to <laughs> make some shadows in the nose and the mouth. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it for the shark. Uh, that was fairly easy outside of <laughs> covering it. Um but yeah, we just took some, wait, why do I do that? I just took some buttercream, applied it to the board um, to make a water effect. And then we have it. That is my Thrasher Shark Cake. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe, like, comment. Bye.